Google just recently released this NAS Wi-Fi router a few months ago in November. They have integrated the Google Assistant into the Wi-Fi point to control your smart home devices around the house with faster Wi-Fi speed and better uh, coverage around the house. In addition to that, the slick design will look great anywhere you put inside your home. I'm going to do a quick unboxing and then we're going to talk about the new features and upgrade for the Nest Wi-Fi. So let's get started. You can buy the Nest Wi-Fi router in a two-pack, a three-pack, and you could also buy them separately. You could get the router by yourself, the Wi-Fi point by itself. The Wi-Fi point come in multiple color. The Nest Wi-Fi router only come in white. On the Amazon website, they do sell the two-pack Wi-Fi router because uh, they don't want to sell the Wi-Fi point that's uh, integrated with the Google Assistant because it's a, a competitor to the Alexa. AC2200 4x4 uh, Wi-Fi and the uh, Wi-Fi points are AC1200 uh, 2x2. Dual band 2.4 gigahertz and the 5 gigahertz. Let's open the box and check it out. This is the Nest Wi-Fi router. On the top, you get the G logo. Very smooth to the touch, matte finish, so you don't get no fingerprints. On the bottom, the two Ethernet port in and out, and the power port is in the middle. No microphone, no speaker. It's a little bit bigger than the Wi-Fi point. The Wi-Fi point have the four microphone on top. In the back, the mute button for the microphone. So if you don't want the Google Assistant to listen to you, you just mute it, turn it off. And the power port, the speaker grill on the bottom, the LED lights on the side, and the rubber pad. Let's start it, guy, book. I don't need that. That size, cardboard. You have the power cable. It's not a micro USB, a USB type C. Three of them, one, two, three. Let's see what else we have here. And uh, one Ethernet cable for connecting the router to your modem or another router that you already have. I'm going to place them where I want them to be, plug them in, and then I'm going to show you guys how to set them up with the Google Home app. To get started, use the Google Home app on a phone or tablet. Setting up the Nest Wi-Fi and the Wi-Fi points are very easy with the Google Home app. If you have not installed the Google Home app, go to the App Store or the Google Play Store. Depend on your devices, download and install the apps. Once it's installed, open up the app, set up the account. If you don't already have it set up and then open the app on the top left corner click on the plus click on set up device set up a new device and depend on how many home you have set up in the app you pick the one that you want the Nest Wi-Fi to be on and then click next because, well, I have only one home set up, so I'm going to click next. Then it's looking for devices. My uh, Nest Wi-Fi point, my Nest Wi-Fi router, and the other Nest Wi-Fi point. So I'm going to set up the Nest Wi-Fi router first. 
click on the Nest Wi-Fi router and then click next create a Wi-Fi name for now I'm gonna just put Nest Wi-Fi I'm gonna just change it later and then a password once you set up your password it's going to ask you to turn on Wi-Fi router and, and point usage status I'm going to say no thanks turn on Nest Wi-Fi cloud service I don't need it right now so no thanks where is this device I'm going to set it up to my office for now next Google Home wants to join the Wi-Fi network. Nest, you just say join. Connect it. Okay, now we're going to go back and set up the Wi-Fi point. To set up the Wi-Fi point, go through the same step as setting up the Wi-Fi router. Click on the Google Home app. Click on the plus Click on Setup Device, set up New Device, select the home you want to add the Wi-Fi point to, and then click Next. We found the two Wi-Fi point. Select one of Wi-Fi point two, set up, and click on Next. Now go scan the barcode on the bottom of the Wi-Fi point. Did you hear the sound? I said yes. Help improve Google Wi-Fi product. Uh, no thanks. Additional legal terms. Okay, agree. I'm going to add this to my kitchen. The kitchen. And next. Turn on Wi-Fi router and point user status. No thanks. Turn on Nest Wi-Fi cloud. No thanks. I don't need those. Okay, set up Google Assistant, next. Agree. Agree to voice match. Get personal result with your voice. I'm not going to set up right now. Enter your address, not now. I'm sure you can link your music service to the Google Home Assistant not now and you could play on your default music uh, service I'm just Spotify next not now you can link your video service uh, not now link your TV service not now Get started with a voice call with the dual uh, Google Duo. I'm not going to set up right now. Not now. And I actually want to set up another Wi-Fi Nest. Yes. Now it detects I have another Wi-Fi point. So I'm going to click Next. Let's plug in. Next. Google Nest Point uh, found next connecting the mesh from this point just follow through the instruction how to uh, set up the second uh, Wi-Fi point after you're done setting up the second Wi-Fi point it will start testing the connection between the two Wi-Fi point if the Wi-Fi points are too far apart, it's going to ask you to uh, bring it closer together. Mesh test complete. Your mesh connection is great. Awesome. Set up to date on Google hardware product and related feature. Uh, I'm not going to sign up for now. No thanks. I want to make this process a little bit quicker. Not going through all that. So the video will be short. Now it's restarting. 
All right, awesome. The Nest Wi-Fi is ready. In the Google Home app, you can click on the Wi-Fi to go into settings. In the settings, you can run a speed test for the router and scroll down, you can set up a guest network. And when you click on the internet on the top, you can check the connection for the Wi-Fi point. You can click on the Wi-Fi point. In the Wi-Fi point, go into the Wi-Fi point setting. In the settings, there's a lot of options here. You could change a lot of things inside the settings. You could, uh, when you click on Wi-Fi setting, you can actually change the brightness of the Wi-Fi point, the bottom light. And you could turn off the mute light so it doesn't stay on anymore. You turn that off. Let's turn it back on. Let's go back out. And then you could actually change the bass and the triple for the speaker. That's pretty cool there. You want more bass, you turn the bass on. You want more triple, turn the triple on. Let's go back out. And then you scroll down to the bottom. There's a lot of other options here, settings that you could change. To turn the volume up or down.